Today's process for ad hoc analysis is tiresome, repetitive, and time-consuming. Data practitioners have to spend significant time searching for data and piecing together tools as they build complex queries just to answer a single question. And because most analytics tools lack proper collaboration support, this means that most ad hoc analysis starts from scratch every time, rather than being able to easily reuse what already exists. Overall, the process can be frustrating and time-consuming. It slows down business decisions, overburdens analysts, and prevents them from working on the projects that have the most impact. BigQuery Data Canvas is a completely reimagined and natural language-based visual experience to discover, query, and visualize data. It brings multiple tools into a unified interface that means you can easily focus on your analysis instead of on the tools. Let's look at how Data Canvas can support your workflow in detail. We'll see how The Look, a fictional e-commerce retailer, uses Data Canvas to understand their most popular products, then validate that they have a sufficient inventory of those items to meet upcoming demand. Let's first understand what Data Canvas can do for data practitioners. Our company, The Look, wants to stay ahead of trends in fashion. Data Canvas enhances their entire analysis with the power of AI. First, it brings keyword and natural language search to find their data assets. It also generates SQL from provided natural language prompts and automatically generates data visualization with additional insights, all within a consistent UI. By working in Data Canvas, the Look analysts can build data journeys using natural language prompts in a graphical workflow. This better mirrors their natural mental model rather than having to adapt that model to fit the constraints of traditional analysis tools. Throughout the entire journey, Data Canvas makes it easier for data practitioners to collaborate and share their analysis in one place. Let's get started. You can start by creating a new Data Canvas from the welcome page in BigQuery Studio. We'll start today by opening a saved canvas from the BigQuery Explorer pane. First, I'll search for tables related to orders so we can bring in information about the products we've sold. We can search for orders data and review the schema before importing the table. Here, we can see the orders table doesn't have any data about the individual items sold, but we know we need those specifics for this analysis. We can refine the search to include items, which shows us the table that we're looking for, and we'll select the order items table and add it to our canvas. Next, we'll look for tables that have information about what city our users are shipping orders to. So we'll search for users city, and we can add the table to the analysis as well to bring in the city data. We can easily review the schema of each table side by side to better understand how they can be used together, and we can dig into the details tab as well. Next, we continue defining our data source by joining the tables. Creating the data source helps ground the SQL generation for our queries in the source tables. Now, this doesn't fully define the join relationship as that would require us to include join type and join columns, but it does define which tables should be in the SQL generated from our natural language prompt. Now we'll use a natural language prompt, like what are the most commonly sold products in the United States by product ID? to generate a query that shows the most commonly purchased products in the United States. We can review the query to make sure it meets our needs, and then run it. From here, we can add and join a new table to our query results. Traditionally, something like this would require writing a complex subquery that's much harder to manage. But here, we can simply join the table, generate another query from a natural language prompt, and easily see our query results. Additionally, we can even bring in a saved query to take advantage of work that's already been done instead of having to rebuild it from scratch. This allows us to join our list of the most popular products with a list of products that are at risk for an inventory shortage. We can also iterate over this query by editing in place to structure our results so that we get the exact answer we need. Once we have that answer, we can visualize the results immediately, and Data Canvas also automatically highlights additional key insights for us to give us a better understanding of our data. 
we can customize these features in Data Canvas by either editing the natural language prompt or digging into the customization options. And we can also export this chart to Lover Studio. And Data Canvas's collaboration features allow other practitioners to benefit from this work as well. We can either export our canvas to a Python notebook or take advantage of Data Canvas's built-in collaboration support to save and share an analysis that others can edit and run. This includes support for versioning that allows you to review and compare with previous versions and restore from those previous versions as well. Data Canvas makes ad hoc analysis easier by simplifying the process to find, query, and visualize your data. And its collaboration support makes it even easier for teams to share resources and canvases. Give it a try. Check out the description below for a step-by-step -step guide and resources to help you get started.